As you can see, the boat itself is a little rough right now. Basically what I did with this boat is I took the entire boat trailer, I sanded it down, you can see. It's got a fairly new coat of paint on it, it's all black. But I put new trailer lights on it, put wired the entire thing. Uh, the main thing I don't like about this trailer is that the wheels don't have any wheel wells in them. So it throws gravel and all kinds of stuff. All right, so in the back is where I keep my two batteries. We're probably gonna create some kind of battery tray for that because they do bounce around a lot while they're back there. And I actually damaged one of my batteries going down the road last year, so that was bad. For the most part, you guys have seen pretty much everything in here. This is the same boat that I fish out of all the time. I got an eight foot deck and it's got rod straps on the left and right. It's got a hatch under here that doesn't have really good support. You can see that when I stand on it, it kind of falls in a little bit. We got a pedestal mount right here. We got a set of rocker switches up here. I never use any of that stuff, so I don't actually have it wired up right now. I got a six gallon gas tank for my outboard motor that I have on here. And then of course, down here, I you know cleaned up the trailer and everything. I greased up the receiver, put a new set of chains on it, and then I also put a new jack, and then I put a new winch on here. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. That was uh, the walk around. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take off that front deck, we're gonna reinforce that hatch so that when I step on it, I don't fall through it, cause that would not be good. The paint job that I did on that boat was not very good at all. It was just a down and dirty rattle canned it out cause I was trying to get it on the water. So I really wasn't trying to protect the aluminum or anything. I was just trying to make it look good. That's all that boat's meant to be. It's road hard and put away wet. This boat I'm gonna try to be a little nicer to and uh, take care of it a little better. Okay, so that took me a little bit longer than I expected to. It took me about an hour, I guess. I'm gonna widen up this platform a little bit so that our hatch doesn't fall through our deck. stripped everything out and we built those supports. Since I just have an aluminum hole and there's nothing really supporting anything down there, I have an issue right now. My batteries and my anchor are jumping up and down while they're going down the road and they're kind of beating in the hole. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking scrap wood and I'm cutting it out to size to fit inside those hatches. I'm just gonna set it down and then we're gonna use that as a platform. All right, so I got it all put back together. First, I took all the decks off and I vacuum underneath it and then I pressure washed everything only because one of my batteries leaked in the back of my boat during the summertime. I didn't pay any attention to it, but I got lucky because the acid was just pulled up in the back of my boat, corroding my hole away. All the paint and everything is all stripped off of there. So I scrubbed it down and then I power washed everything and got all the acid out of there. And also we went ahead and created a support for this hatch lid. And then after we created these three brackets for the support for the hatch lid, we went ahead and threw a piece of plywood in here. And then the last thing we did was back here with these batteries, or one of my batteries busted open and was leaking acid everywhere. It was because it was back here bouncing around and it didn't have anything to hold it in. So this is what I created. All right, so I've got two batteries, one on each side to distribute the weight properly. And then I have these D-rings. I have one D-ring on either side of the battery. It'll keep it from going down the road and bouncing around. Also, I forgot to mention that I built this platform out of scrap wood, just like I did in the front. Then they'll just bounce up and down on this piece of wood and they won't punch a hole through the bottom of my boat. And then I've also got my wiring and they can both reach either battery just in case I need to swap batteries out. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you liked today's video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.